That's definitely not gonna buff over. This should have been one of those videos where I should have stayed home and everything would have been fine. Weather was supposed to be looking good for the weekend, but last minute, it started to rain. And I'm like thinking, who really wants to camp in the rain? I already had the pet sitter booked for Carmen. Already made arrangements to meet up with somebody who watches my YouTube video and they want to head out. And they've never been in this area. So we get out here and the first thing we're gonna do is try to find a place to camp. But to our surprise, we got out here early on a Friday and pretty much every place that we decided to check out was occupied with somebody, which is usually not the case. I don't know what it is. This year has been um, super busy, but we did manage to find a place and it was a good experience for me because getting in and out of places with having somebody there and navigating with the trailer really changed things around. Uh, this is one of the downfalls with having a trailer is it just can't as easily zip in and out of a spot because you gotta deal with backing up, getting turned around and all that. We did find a campsite and I got my Cabela's bucket set up for the portable shitter over the weekend and my Cabela's privacy tent that I'm gonna use. And this is the spot we're at. We came down 16 kilometers and found this beautiful spot. It's a little tight, but we're gonna make it work for the next couple days. Good day everybody, it's Dre from Backcountry Wrenching and today is another backcountry trip and I am camping with another person who does YouTube videos, this BRB Adventurer. I'll put a link to his channel down below. He just moved here to Alberta and he wanted to meet up. So we just came out here camping in the Livingston Range. Beautiful out here. I've always wanted to come out to this particular spot for a while. Got a log bridge across there if you're really feeling brave. Otherwise, she's a little wet. Wasn't supposed to have been raining today, but it is what it is. There's tons of wood around here. Be no shortage of wood to burn. There's some sadness though, because on the way out, my side window on my trailer shattered, unfortunately. And the trailer was bouncing and I knew sooner or later this is definitely going to happen. So I set my little tent up right there so I could run the water line down to the river tomorrow and have a shower. And then right down this trail here there's a fire ring where the creek goes around the corner. But now, just got a tarp set up because it's kind of like a drizzle. This is where my window is. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You can see it's all broke out there. It's like a rubber, it's a rubber pad there. Little side windows are good. Just this main one, and I'll probably plexiglass it. So it's a double pane glass. The outside is shattered from this impact spot right there. Must have been a rock or something that flew up and hit it, unfortunately. It is what it is. Luckily it didn't go through because that would have been sad. Since the window's already broke once, I think I'll just plexiglass it. I could go to a glass shop and get a new piece of glass put in, but the end result's still gonna be the same. If it broke once, it's gonna break twice. Check out this. Beautiful. See what happens when I get home. Odds are, time I get home, I'm about 
150, 170 kilometers from my house, that window will probably be totally gone by the time I get home, guaranteed. And there's the trail. I back my trailer down. It's kind of gray. It's going to cook up some soup right here. Chicken, vegetable, pot pie. Good thing I have a can opener. She's a little rusty. Get this bad boy fired up. I just filled her. Just trying to get to that blue flame. Finally got the blue flame. little GSI cookware set I got from Cambela's sure comes in handy. I got these little things too. I don't know if I should just put my soup in there or just eat it right out of there. Well, that actually worked so good. This time there'll be no mice. We just finished getting some wood cut up for tonight. We're going to use this fire ring right here. Maybe we can sit along this creek. Caps are all set up. Barry's just walking back. As evening came, the drizzle had stopped and gave me the perfect opportunity to get the drone up in the sky to have a look at the area where we're camping. Because sometimes, with the naked eye on the ground level, you can't see much, but sometimes, when you get a drone in the sky, you can see things in the woods that you normally wouldn't see. It gives you the opportunity to go and check it out. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case this time around, but I did get some pretty epic views of the creek bed in the surrounding area. A little late in the evening to be doing a pork loin, but I do have some boneless chicken thighs. We're gonna get this Country Smokers Portable Pellet Grill that I picked up from Cabela's. Best thing for camping, getting her fired up. Boneless chicken thighs are gonna be good.
Once it starts to smoke, I know you're good. I'm gonna crank this up to 350 degrees. All right, motherfucking beer time underneath my tarp. It's got a couple holes. And all it's been is just folded up in my little case that I put in the back of my Jeep. Working though, three ain't stopped. Oh yeah, these smell good. This will be the true weekend for the all powers because I've already used like 10% on this small one. Can't get the solar panels out because it's been kind of rainy all day, but it'll last the night for sure. Not too worried about this. This doesn't use any power at all. It's almost that temperature. Pretty tight camping spot. Definitely made it fit. Using the spot GPS, sent some messages. My chicken could be, should be, maybe done. We need. 165 minimum. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, we're getting closer. This little piece is done. This one's done. The other ones are not. Ugh. Just crank it up a couple notches. Oh yeah, so delicious. Uh, this is my view from my shitter. There you go, the Cabela's bucket worked out. It's not made for that purpose. Actually, uh, in the Cabela's store, I got all this section with the wood smokers. I think it's really made for um, putting like wood pellets in, but it's slightly higher by a few inches than a five gallon bucket, so it works perfect for a cropper. But don't be a surface shitter in the woods. No one wants to talk about this, but I'm saying it. Luckily, this spot here, not really any evidence of people like surface shitting, but you gotta keep the backcountry clean. Like this spot's pretty nice. Bush is dense. We got a fire going back there in the trees. Things are set up. Still feeling bummed out about the window. That sucks, but. I'll get some plexiglass or something in there. I'd love to be on with Zoe Badly.
Lights are still working fine. Time to shut her down. All right, it's all settled in for the night. Gonna get some sleep. So glad there's a double pane window. Otherwise it'd suck camping right now, big time. Yeah, so it's pretty much the end of this video. It's a pretty short one. Uh, the two new people that I met that watch my YouTube channel seem very nice. They're very down to earth. It's nice to meet other people to uh, head out and do some camping with that enjoy the same activities. So I'm not sure what's on the agenda for tomorrow. Maybe I'll get the camera out a little bit more and do some filming. But otherwise, yeah. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully it's not raining. It would be nice to see some sun for sure. It's cold. Uh, not cold enough to see your breath. Not cold enough to put the diesel heater on. But uh, maybe I'll bust out the shower. Who knows. Otherwise I'm going to chill out, watch a movie. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.